Hello, welcome to this second video. This time we're going to focus on differentials. The first video we looked at linear approximations and how it's using the tangent line. And now we want to look at what a differential is and how does it play a role here. Now we know the symbol f prime of x. That's the one we mostly use, the prime symbol. But we also know this other symbol dy over dx. Allow me for a second to do something that might not seem to make sense. I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. dy will be equal to f prime of x dx. All right, let's see a visual. This dy is called your differential. Okay. In this visual here, we have a point of tangency that we're interested in. That point is p. We have another point that's also on the curve, and that point is q. How do we get from p to q? We change our x. What do we change our x by? We change our x by an amount that we call delta x. Whenever you see the triangle in front of something, that means the change in that quantity. So we change x by some amount. That then causes y to change. So the, the actual change in y would be on the graph going from point P to point Q. The difference there would be uh, point Q minus point P, but the, the, the y value for Q minus the y value for P. That would be the actual change in your function. We are going to use the differential to approximate that change. So what's the differential in this picture here? It's going to be going from point P, still changing to delta x, but now taking that x plus delta x and not plugging into the function to get Q, plugging into the tangent line to get here. It's labeled as R. OK, so we got this differential dy is equal to f prime of x dx. That's the differential and delta y is the actual delta y is going to be equal to the difference between them, the, the y values, like I said, the the, uh, the q's y value minus p's y value, the difference in y, f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Somebody asks you to find the actual change in the function, that's how you find it. Somebody asks you to approximate the change in the function, you'll use the differential. Take the derivative, evaluate it at x, and multiply by dx. These are all small, infinitesimal small changes in x. And the smaller that the change in x gets delta, then that'll cause then that gap between your tangent line and your curve, the difference between dy and delta y will get, will get smaller and smaller. Okay. All right, great. So here's an example. Uh, a cubic function, uh, x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 1. And we're going to, we can plug two into that all day long without a calculator. We're going to see what happens if we allow x to change by 0.05. That's represented a 5 over 100 or 1 over 20. Let x change by 1 over 20. We like to know how y changes without a calculator. We're going to use differentials to make it happen. We have this function, f of x. And the known value is 2. So when you plug a 2 in, you get an 8, and you add a 4 to it. You take away a 4, and then you add on 1. So you, uh, a 9 comes out. All right? Now, with this right here, plugging in 2.05, that's for a calculator. That's not for a human to do. Okay, but here it is. The calculator spits out that decimal number, 9.717625. All right? But that's not for a human to do. So we can get the actual change in the function. Remember that? The delta y, the triangle y. That's going to be the difference between these two. And so we can see it's 0.717628. What we want to do, though, is approximate this. How close can we get to this? And we're going to, what we're going to do, the tool that we use is differentials. All right? dy, the differential in y, it's going to be equal to the derivative, right? So 3x squared plus 2x minus 2, power rule, evaluated at that x value of 2. 
we're going to change x by 0.05, 1 over 20, and we want to know how does that change y. So we plug the 2 in, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus another 4 is 16, take away a 2, we get 14 out of that. Alright, so here's what dy is then. Remember, dy is equal to f prime of x dx. So it's going to be the 14, f prime of 2, and then the dx is 1 over 20. 14 over 20, we can reduce that, and that's going to be 7 over 10. So our approximation to what the actual change in the function is, is 0.7. The, the actual change is 0.717625. Okay. And so our approximation to that is 0.7. All right, great. Um, let's see if we can fit in uh, one more question. All right, a real life problem, you got yourself a sphere, okay? And whatever you're using to measure the radius, somehow it's not calibrated correctly and there's some mistake that it might be making. It might make an error of one over 20th again but this is some piece of a centimeter, some small piece of a centimeter. It's like off in measuring. So it measured it to be 21, but because it's not calibrated correctly, it can go up to 21.05, it can go down to 19.95. Um, there's some error there possibly. What does that error then do when it's time? To, uh, how does that cause a change in your volume? You being off by that one over 20th up or down, how does that affect your volume? Okay, what is then the maximum error that you that you get when you use this this uh, instrument to, to measure uh, when you're going to go calculate the volume of the sphere? There's a formula for that. Don't worry about that. Four thirds pi r cubed, and we basically want to look at dv. So we take the derivative, and we get the three comes down and cancel with the three from underneath, and uh, we get four pi r squared dr. That's what dv is. Remember, dv is our differential, and it's the way we measure the approximation to what the function is actually changing. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't have a calculator, so I'm not going to plug in 21.05 or 19.95. I'm just going to plug in 21 and then plug it into here, and then I'm going to uh, use that to approximate the change. Your radius is 21. Your change is 0.05, either up or down, officially absolute value. Okay. And so the formula for dv, the 21 goes in there, the 0.05 goes in there, and what comes out of there, well, 21 squared is 441, and the 4 and 20 can cancel. 441 over 5 with a pi. 5 times, you know, 5 into 441 is about 88.2. All right, so this multiple of pi is how my volume changes. Okay, I use differentials, and, I, and this is in uh, cubic centimeters. So me being off by 1 20th has then caused me to change my volume by approximately, this isn't actual, this is approximation, is by approximately 88.2 pi. That seems like a lot. Because pi is about 3. That's almost 250. It's probably more than 250. Yeah. But wait. The best thing to do, though, is not look at dv, but look at it in relation to v in relation to volume. What we're going to call it is the relative rate of change. Okay, that's about 277. The relative rate of change is 277. I'm sorry, the relative rate of the dv is the differential is 277. But what percentage of the actual volume is that? It's the big picture. So the relative error, or a better way to call it is the relative rate of change is by you taking that dv and dividing it by the volume. What portion of the volume is it actually equal to? Okay, the actual dv over v, delta v over v, we don't have, you know, but we can approximate it by dv over v. Okay, that 277, but look, when you go back, you go to a calculator, or whatever, and you, th you throw in um, the volume, 21 cubed times pi times 4 thirds, that volume is 38. 1,792. You being off by 277, you changing by that amount in the big picture percentage-wise, it's less than 1%, less than half. 
a little bit more than half of 1%. Okay? 0.7% error has been caused by this 1 over 20th measurement error from an uncalibrated measuring tool. I'm sorry, this video has gotten too long. It went past 10 minutes. I apologize. Anyway, you'll see questions like this and, and real life problems, how a small change in X affects Y. You don't really want to get the actual change in Y. You want to get the approximation to that change in Y. And what you're using is differentials. Thank you for watching. My name is Nakai Remmer. Please like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.